What's going on guys? Welcome to your 14th video and in this video we're going to be tackling some more of the form.css file and the first thing I want to do is add a class called container. Now what this container class is going to do is it's pretty much going to be responsible for setting the width of the form. Now I chose a width of 740 because this is going to be the default size for the form. Now remember, we have a total of 780 to work with in the main area where this form is going to be. However, whenever we have 740 pixels and we add the padding on each side of 20 on the left and 20 on the right, that's when we end up with 780 pixels. So that's why I chose 740. It's going to work out perfectly. So the next thing I want to do is I want to show you guys something and that is the error messages. Whenever the user makes a mistake and they try to enter an email that's not valid or maybe they you know put a dollar sign for their username or something and they try to submit this an error message is gonna pop up now as you can see this error message is kind of red with white lettering and it has some other attributes too but anyways that's what we're gonna be styling right now this error message so the class for this is error I almost made an error just typing that and of course this is the styling color white background color of hexadecimal D0000 and it also has a padding of 4 pixels a margin of 10 pixels and a font family Arial and also a font weight of bold and there you go, there's your error class. Again, that's this little thingy right here. With that styling, that's what you have. So after this, I know um, we're only working on a registration page right now, but eventually we're gonna be working on a feedback page. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause my video right now and I'm gonna come back and code this. All right, guys, welcome back. And uh, that is what I coded in the meantime. Basically, the feedback page, I know that I didn't, uh, you guys might not even know what I'm talking about, but whenever we code our feedback page, I want to throw that in our file because we're going to need it later on. So for now, just uh, keep it out of your mind and I'll discuss that when the time is right. Now, the next thing I want to code in here is a class for the fields. Now, the fields are pretty much any form element. For example, um, we're going to have input boxes and we have the email, we have the password. Um, we have text areas, we're going to have drop down menus eventually, and these are pretty much the fields. So the only thing I want to do is I want to add a little margin. So if I didn't, then all of these white spaces would be pushed up together and it would look like one big white box. So that is why I need a class called field. And I want to add a margin bottom, not margin, margin bottom of seven pixels there we go now after this what I want to do is I want to give the uh, the user a hint oftentimes whenever they hover over um, one of these input areas for example the username whenever they hover over the input for username it says 20 characters maximum letters and numbers only and for password it says 20 characters maximum basically hints whenever you know you may have a question on some field it just clarifies things so in order to make that hint the first thing we need to do is style it so in order to style it in order to add the action of this is going to pop up whenever you hover over that field you need to go ahead and access your class field and add the action hover wow okay take a deep breath <sighs> hover there we go I knew I'd get it eventually and after this I'm gonna add a class called hint now this is gonna be the main styling for that hint as you can see it's gray kinda transparent with uh, you know white lettering a bunch of good stuff so the first thing I want to do is position absolute make sure I spell that right yep position is absolute and I also want to display it as a block element now I'm going to add a margin and I already figured out um, the perfect placement for this but it's negative 30 pixels 0 0 in on a form of 7 um well what was this form I forgot 740 pixels the correct spacing is 650 pixels and whenever we uh, need to change 
the width of our form, we have to remember to change the width of this. And for font size, go ahead and make this 15 pixels. Uh, let's see what else do we need to take care of the color. We didn't change that yet. We'll just make that white. And the padding, 7 pixels, 10 pixels. And for the background, as you can see, it wasn't a solid color. It had kind of a transparency to it. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're pretty much going to be making it black but transparent. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So background of RGBA. And if you watch my CSS3 and HTML5 tutorials, you know that this is, of course, red, green, blue. And the last one is alpha, 0 to 1. And let's go ahead and make the 0 0.6. So this is going to give us a black semi-transparent background now the last thing I want to do is give it rounded corners and I am just gonna go ahead and copy these babies right here give it a rounded corner of seven pixels and there you go whenever you can copy please do so now the last thing I want to do is I want to make this hidden by default I only want this to show up whenever we hover over it so by default if we leave it like this right now it would just show up all the time but we only want this to show up on the hover obviously so in order to hide this by default what you need to do is you need to access the default class the class that first loads whenever you load the web page and put display to none so basically this hint is not going to display until you hover over it and then when you do it's going to take all these settings and pretty much pop up on the screen giving you that nice interactive feeling so we only have three more classes to code in this uh, file and then one really small short CSS file and then crack your knuckles because we're going to get into the programming so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video